Uh, why don't we give away this uh, DVD player, Fez? All thanks to our friends at Burger King. Burger King and Fox's Arrested Development. Now, I was thinking about this. Uh, actually, I even was looking at a, a website. I think it was Retro Crush that had this today. But it was, they came up with best TV theme songs of all time. Now, the one that they picked as their number one, I didn't happen to agree with. I won't say what it is, though. But it'll be something that Fez and I pick. So we want you to call up, give us the best TV theme, but here's the hook on it. You've got to be able to sing it. 866-277-4969. Or if it has no words, Fez, you have to be able to hum it. 866-277-4969. And you know what, Fez? I'll let you be the person to pick who goes into the finals and who wins this because you know more about TV themes than anybody else that I know. Okay, sounds good to me. Be ready to perform your, your TV theme songs. 866-277-4969. we come back, we'll give out a DVD player. It's the Ron It's the Ron Fez show Monday night live and we're about to give away a DVD player. For singing TV themes, this DVD player is from Burger King and, of course, Arrested Development on Fox. Burger King, where you can try the brand new Chicken Tender Crisp Sandwich. And the winner of the DVD player, Ronnie? Yes. Is Matt, who sang us the Family Ties theme. Sang it very well. Wow. That's a shocker for me, Fez. I didn't know it was... No, did you pick it because you thought it was the best theme ever, or you just liked his rendition? I thought it was the best performance we had. Uh huh. That's what I went with on that one. And just for taking me back to those carefree days before Spin City. That's what I appreciate. That's just mean. Are you saying because of the little problem he has now? That, and I just never really cared for Spin City. I like Shaky Dad. I prefer <laughs> him shaking. Maybe there'll be a cure. Who knows? You know. You know the truth. All right, uh, Fezzi, here's a uh, question for you. Oh, first of all, we want to send a shout-out out tonight. Giant Brian, do your thing. Put on some move music, too, before you do it. Oh. Well, Go ahead. Me... Go ahead, Mr. Romance. It's time for Giant Brian, Fez. Ooh. All right, I can't wait to hear what this is about. Sending something out to those big earlobes? <laughs> be nice to him. This is his little time of the show. Giant Brian's got a message. And I want to hear it. Is it something you want to say to me and Ronnie? No, I'd like to uh, send a little romantic shout out. I right, let me and Fez get out of the way then. Okay. To my lovely wife, Marcy. Today is her birthday. I love you. And I'll be home soon. I knew a man, Bojangles. And you dance for you. All right, the message you sent, very nice. But why would you play a song about an elderly homeless drunk man with a dog? <laughs> what? Where what, did that come from? What is the point there? This is my pet name for Marcy. <laughs> you call her. He can jump so. Uh, when I get home, I'm like. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles. Dance. Daddy's home. <laughs> Dance. Daddy's home, now, Mr. Do you, Bojangles. Do you make her put on a, a 5 o'clock shadow, rub that in, put on an old bum thing, <laughs> take a hit out of a flask? <laughs> I don't get the reference now. Well, he was like, uh, you know, an old hobo, uh, an old washed up. Man. People threw money in his hat when he would dance for that them. Misses his drunk dog. Well, I'm a kid. <laughs> the dog was drunk too. Oh, every alcoholic has a drunk dog. We all know that. Well, happy birthday. I'm sorry these guys had to ruin it by calling you a drunk black man. Well, I can't imagine that any wife's uh, pet name starts with Mister. Well, you don't understand our relationship. Like I always say, unless you're in the relationship. You don't really understand it. What? You've always said that? Always have said it. You don't know Never what goes heard. on between me and Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> I don't want to know now. This is their favorite part. Bojangles. This is the part you normally... Just want to kiss her neck. Yeah. Right across the cell. Mm -hmm. 
He grabbed his pants, took a better stance. Not sure you bet. Does she grab her pants and take a better stance and then jump behind? She's got a plan to pull up her pants. Of course. Her hobo pants. Ah, it's sad. Well, happy birthday anyway. I'll play this tonight when I get home. These two guys won't be there, Bo Jingles. <laughs> hey, hey, Jody, you're on Run Fez. Hey, I just want to tell you, I'm a great mom. I'm a big fan of you guys. My daughter played in the contest. She didn't win. However, that's cool. Yeah. But that last fun comment that you make, I know everything's in joke. But to say you preferred the actor shaking... A little out of line. So give no. that some thought. Uh, well, you know my history about everybody in my family having the disease, right? Yeah. And I you're going to still bring that up to me, out of all people. Well, I. D what did I? What's my nickname for my dad? Shaky Dad, right? Yeah, but. You so know you would call back and try to teach me about this disease. You of all people. Wow, that's really cold. What's cold? That you, I'm calling back? You yes. doing this to my partner? After you know that both my parents and grandparents suffer from this disease, yeah, and my name for them is Shaky Dad and Shaky Mom. But that's all the more that that that's. But you're hitting some heartstrings to a lot of people out there. You're welcome. It's the the message has got to get out there, and if I'm the one to do it, well then let it happen. That you prefer them shaking? Mm -hmm. Not cool. You prefer them not shaking. Let's get all your listeners to make donations. And challenge you. Fez, I challenge you to put up money. Yeah, I do all the time. It's in my family, too. Yeah. All right. All right have a good night. Just apologize. And we Then we can move on. I'm yeah. not apologizing. I think you should. Yes, you should mon mon monopolize. What? I'm what not did, apologizing. What did you it say? I tried comment. to say it the way she did. It came out even worse. <laughs> it wasn't my comment. It was yours online. No, all but of the well, why attack Ronnie's family? Why are you attacking my family? Oh, just stop it. Why just, bring, why bring you know down my is, wife's birthday? You know why? Yeah, we were in the middle. We were wishing Mr. Bojangles a happy, happy birthday. Mrs. Mr. Bojangles. And his children call him Shaky Dad. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm sure that Michael's family, if they were listening to the fun contest tonight, I'm sure they would not appreciate the comment. Well, then they should family smack ties their, one. They should smack their own grandchildren for naming him Shaky Dad. You're taking the whole thing out of context. You're talking about your family. No, he's his parents call him. I would never call my dad shaky dad. My father's healthy as well. As uh, as uh, what's a good thing? Horse. Elsa. Oh, he is not. <laughs> healthy as a well. More like a, a deer, like a buck. Did you watch the movie last night, Saving Emily? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I, you know what? I have cable. Is that about Newhart? It's a, just a really big thing right now. They're bringing a lot of attention to Parkinson's. Is this because your daughter lost the contest? Hell no. If she was running around with a DVD over her head right now, we never would have gotten this call. You know I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. That's I, true. You know why? Because I wouldn't have been a family listener at that at, at 9.15 at night. Uh, we were sitting around listening. I'm okay with that. that. That has nothing to do with This has soccer mom written all over it. It okay. does. That were grapes. Yeah. That's sad. And right in the middle when we're trying to raise money. Here you go, Ronnie. I'm almost ready right now. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> One dollar, Ronnie, right there from me. name. Go ahead. No, I'm not going to do that because you know what? Because you'd lose a lot of listeners. Why? What's your whole name? Yeah, I'm not going to go there. It's just the whole point. I'm calling you. In fact, I told the woman, don't put me online. Let me just tell these guys that they, you know, get real. It's not a nice comment. Why? What's your last name? Joe Schmo. Have a good day. Okay, oh, guys? my God. The Joe Schmo show on Spike TV? Yeah, get the, real. The Schmo zone. You know, you know in your heart of hearts that you need to think before you talk. That's all I'm saying. What do, what do, my, a positive what do Michael's kids people. call him? They call him Shaky Dad. It has nothing to do with your comment. It was That's the, the same twins. exact thing that I said about it. Call Michael Hughes and say, let those guys go. You were talking about Michael J. Fox. Right. I'm saying Michael Hughes is our boss. Okay, have a great night, okay? I don't have time for this bickering. Maybe we should do a, uh, you know, get donations to get someone's daughter a DVD player so that the hostility can stop. No, it's not about that. Oh. I, I'm sorry that Fez and I have been doing a show instead of stopping Parkinson's. That's our fault. We let you down. All right, have a great night, guys. Well, okay? One more thing, it's saving Millie, not Emily. Who's Emily. You uh, said saving Emily. Oh, why would you, you do that? Oh. oh, that's just awful. Why mock it? Oh, it's saving Millie. 
What does that have to do with saying... Just, just oh, awful. Money. You're just telling people the wrong information so they can't donate. It's just awful. The wrong information is saying I prefer oh. Michael J. Shop. Michael J. Fox shaking. That's the wrong information. Oh, my God. Oh, why God. would you say that? How, the man has Parkinson's. How dare you? You're awful. How dare you, ma'am? Who said that? It's I, <laughs> Zeus. Have a good night, guys. Who just said help. that? Who just said that? Oh, she's gone. <laughs> and I liked her. And I was just about to cure a disease. Hmm. Fez, get the beakers... Uh, get us white lab coats, and let's set up the cure things tonight. All right, beakers with a bunch of different colored waters in them. <sighs> and heat them. Please get me some Bunsen burners. Oh, yeah, we need those, too. And goggles, because I don't want any cures getting in my eyes. What was their last name that would have put fear through us? W. Bush? I believe it would be Hayseed. <laughs> I was just scared. I hate when people don't say their names. That gets me. She had me at that point. That scared you? She's well, like, you don't want to know my name. I was like, yeah, I don't. I'm out. I believe it was Jangles was her last name. I believe her last name was the C word. And that's why <laughs> she wouldn't say it. We couldn't air that either. Damn, I didn't expect to take a, a beating. A beating we take from her. All over a DVD player. Do you think that's why she's mad? Her kid oh, it's win? totally why she's mad. Her kid got dismissed. I don't even think her kid made it to the finals. Going over my notes here. Who knows? Wonder Doesn't everybody have Parkinson's in their family now, too? <clears throat> everyone has that? Yeah, and everyone has DVD players. Oh, yeah. She sh there, there's not a front she should be upset about. <laughs> Michael J. Michael J. Fox is America's son. And we love him. I love him. How about when she said Michael J. Fox is shaky dad? Ugh. How about when she said that as she hung up on her? I ears? got your dollars still, Mr. Funny Man. Yeah, that's I'm gonna need that donation back. I'm gonna have this framed. <laughs> look at it. Look at it wincing. It's never been out in the light before. That's his dollar. <laughs> Washington is not covering his eyes from the glare. What is this? I haven't been out of the back pocket. I'm going to need that back. Thank you. Welcome home, baby. I missed you. Just bizarre. What, hayseed fights? Yeah, just, you know, all the things going on in the world and someone's got to call in worrying about disease. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Uh, We're all against disease. Face it. No show is pro-disease. But how is giving her daughter a DVD player going to cure it? So she can watch the DVD copy of Losing Emily or whatever it's called? Millie. Yeah. And I thought it was Saving. Oh, yeah, Saving. Private Ryan. I get them all mixed up. They're all so good. They all star Matt Damon. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't think that you can teach science to Fez and myself. Because believe me when I tell you, we wrote the book on science. It's called a science book. Now, everybody got me off. I had this other thing to bring up, but we're almost uh, ready to go into another break. But I do want to say uh, happy birthday to Mr. Bojangles. I love you. Does she look like Mr. Bojangles? I'm not going to give the radio pervs out there anything to think about tonight. <laughs> the song says it all. Says too much, you ask me. Especially about her drinking problem. Hey, hey. We love her regardless. And her dog. Why does she have worn out <laughs> shoes? Why don't you go home and take her some nice shoes? <laughs> there goes the birthday gift. And loose pants. Will, you're on a fuzz. That woman was awful. Just brought the show to a grinding halt. I know. Parkinson's and her negativity. Isn't that awful how people have to be so negative when we're trying to, you know, cure things? I can't believe that she would interrupt the, the brilliant research that you all are doing to call in with a comment like that. You know, if we can help, if there's some way Fez and I can help with anything, we'll do it. I hope That's her a known... comes home and beats her. Well, the thing is, what is her last name and who is her husband? Ooh. What is her scary, scary last name? Who could it be? If it was Hulk Hogan, he'd put a whipping on her. I am Mrs. Gibbs. Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Williams' his wife. I and am Marla Gibbs. This is Mrs. Gibbs and my husband. Suffered through another awful season. <laughs> He'll be on Wednesday at 7. 
<laughs> it makes you just wonder who could it be. I'm gonna be thinking about it all night now. Yeah, it's right. a, it's a, it's another thing we gotta you know solve, take away from our research. All we want to do is be left alone to do our research. Spanky, you're on my face. Yeah, I'd like to call in to let you know I'm willing to run 20 miles to let Christopher Reeve walk again. My right, Christopher Reeve passed away, my friend. Oh, man, I didn't hear. Yeah. When did that happen? Um, Last year. Yeah. End of last year, like uh, around October. Oh, uh, I hope I don't rub any. Oh, man, I hope I didn't push any buttons, guys. I'm no. sorry to bring the show down. Well, no, we're not shock jocks. We're not here to shock you or jock you. That's not our style. Our style is science, radio science. <laughs> I am Mrs. Lynn Cheney. <laughs> My husband is the coach of a little team called the Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> if either of you think you're going to play again in the NFL, <laughs> let me tell you. It's over. Your NFL career is done. That just cost you a field pass, mister. <laughs> My husband has a gun. I know. He shot it while you were screaming. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And scene, and that's a wrap. Dudley, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> I drive you through the park. My husband brought this crap town three Super Bowls. <laughs> and this is the thanks he gets? Don't you hate Jeff's wife? From the Redskin <laughs> station? I, uh, Hedge. I got news for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm working on string theory right now. I've found ten different reasons that I know that there's a God. I have to stop now. Because Joe Gibbs' wife is upset with me. <laughs> Karen, you're on a fess. I know who that woman was. She's oh. my next door neighbor. Who oh, is she? Why, you could hear her scream? <laughs> yeah, she's psycho. <laughs> this is Michael J. Fox. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. I watched the Michael J. Fox movie over the weekend. I think it's called. For love or money? For love or money. Yeah. I got a T vote. I thought it was on this sa this past Saturday. Yeah. I got to wait till uh, next Saturday. All right. Here's the uh, thing, because I told you to, to T vote it. To find out where he planned on building the hotel, his dream hotel. Oh, okay. That's the big thing. And I would actually put it out there, but you already want to watch the movie. Yeah. I'd also I'd make a game show out of it, but. My husband <laughs> won three Super Bowls <laughs> with three separate quarterbacks, never before done. Then went to NASCAR and kicked ass. Please don't talk about the racing. <laughs> I would have guessed, by the way she was acting, it was Mikey D. <laughs> it could have been her. Just changing her name. Don't ever think that Fez and I would attack Michael J. Fox, who we call the People's Princess. There's love we have for that little guy. We love him. Canada's Rose. We had reworked an Elton John song. Right. <laughs> Goodbye, Canada's Rose. <laughs> Why is every song you sing bass? Why is that happening? Deep That's bass. all I have. You're streaky, but then, then you're 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 higher than Mrs. Joe Gibbs when you talk. <laughs> I'm like one of those gym neighbors, high talking, low singing. <laughs> yes, you are one of those gym neighbors. All right, we got to take a break. When I come back, philosophical question for everybody. What's right and what's wrong in this world? We'll be right back. Run a fish.